Hello, Bible journalists. I'm Sandy Alnock, and we're going to talk about colored pencils today. I have a cup full of a bunch of random brands here, and I'm going to test my Prismacolors, some of the ones that are in here, against some Crayolas later in this video. We're going to test them on Bible paper, because Bible paper is different than everything else. But I thought I'd show you a few things I've got recently, or things that I use with my pencils. And this cute little case was colored with pencils. Yes, it really was. I bought another one for a friend of mine and it has Joy on it, and I wish her name was Joy, but it's not, so there you go. But they're fun to color. But this is my big case for my big set of pencils, because I have the whole set of 150, and this holds most of them. I have my neutrals, which is basically all the grays, in another small case, because they didn't fit in here, so I just put the colors I don't use much in that one. This is my travel case, and I take this with me on trips, or if I'm going somewhere and I'm just gonna have some time to sit in Bible journal or something or color. And I keep some stuff in the little pocket here. I've got my pencil extender, my sharpener, and a kneaded eraser, which is the best eraser for using with a uh, Bible. This little set I did a review of recently. There's a few items in here that you might be interested in. There's a kneaded eraser, it comes with a sharpener, um, has a blender pencil, and we're gonna try the blender marker on Bible paper. And it has this little, uh, pencil extender, and I'm going to show you each of the bits and pieces here. The pencil sharpener, if you're going to use a handheld, just make sure you don't wiggle the pencil around a whole lot, but this sharpener gets it nice and sharp. I really actually like it quite a bit. And the pencil extender, you just put your pencil in here, even if you have just a little nubby one, little teeny tiny one, you can still keep using the pencil because you've got this pencil extender. It's so much fun. Here's a sharpener, another one. It doesn't come with that little kit, of course, but it collects your shavings in it. Sorry about the randomness of this video. Collects your shavings inside, and you have two different shapes of pencil tops that you can get. So you can have one that's a little shorter and a little stubbier, or one that's a little taller. It doesn't matter which, because they're both very sharp, as you can see, but one is just a little shorter than the other. If you're a big time user and you want to use a big sharpener, this is my favorite one. This little part comes out so you can sharpen your pencil and empty that. It has holes for different sized pencils. And you can use it. Did you hear how that engine kind of stopped? That means it didn't chew up my pencil. So the one on the right is from that big pencil sharpener. So if you're a heavy user, you may want to consider having a really nice pencil sharpener, but if you're just doing Bible stuff, I would get a handheld, just for now at least, until you find out if pencil is your thing. So now let's test some Crayolas versus Prismacolor. And I'm doing this in the Inspire Bible. This is actually the large print version, which is the same as the, like literally page by page, it's the same as the regular version, it's just bigger. They just enlarged all the pages. And so I'm going to color the bottom half of the letters in Prismacolor and the top half is in the Crayolas. You can see there's a little difference in richness. And for the most part, any kind of art medium is just like, like anything in life. The more you pay for it, the better quality you'll get. And the same thing with pencils. So the softer the pencil, the more color it puts down. And the artist pencils they may be a little more expensive, but if you want richer color, then they might be worth it. However, from this result that I'm seeing here, if you didn't see them both next to each other, the top half of those letters would be perfectly fine. No one would know or care. And I think you'd be perfectly satisfied with Bible journaling using Crayola pencils or dollar store pencils or whatever. I, I haven't found any that I've been like completely horribly rejecting of or anything like that. Uh, I thought I'd show you a few tips on how to do a soft background. So I'm going to do a soft background around the word trust. So I'm starting with the inside of it, trying to get it relatively soft and even, and then go to the outside, and I'm just going to start working my way, getting lighter and lighter with my pencil, darker toward the middle, and just lighter as I get out to the edge. Now generally, I just leave it at that. I don't worry about blending or doing anything else, but I'm going to show you a couple tricks if you have trouble getting that nice, even, soft look as you, you blend out to the edge. So I'm going to go up to the top as well, and then we'll do down to the bottom. Because some of those products in that little accessories kit are ones that I want to try on this, because I wanted to see what it does on Bible paper. 
Now first is the kneaded eraser technique, which I think works probably the best. And I just kind of flatten out one side of it, so I'm rubbing with a flat, flattened end, but you can actually contort this little kneaded eraser into any shape you want. If you want to make a pencil point out of it and erase just one particular dot, if you had one thing that got too dark, but it does soften it out quite nicely. Now this is a blender pencil and it was in the kit, in that little kit I showed you in the yellow package. And I thought I'd try it here and see how it works on blending some of this color in the background. And it seems to work okay. I think uh, for me, it's, it's not super helpful in making a background color like this. I found it worked a little bit better inside the letters than it did on the outside of the letters. And I think it's just because it's got a nice edge to it. Um, but on the Bible paper, it didn't seem to do a whole lot for me otherwise. And it doesn't seem to go through at all, which is kind of nice. I have no idea what's in this magical blending pencil, but there you go. You can also buy that pencil separately. And I'll have links to that separately in the uh, description down below as well. Now this is the blending marker and I was nervous about it. So I wanted to peek right away and you see it does go through a little bit, but I wouldn't, I call that more of ghosting than bleeding. Ghosting is when you just get a haze of it. Bleeding is when it like really like the pigment itself sops through it. So I don't think it's too bad, but there's alcohol in this one, in this blender. It has both a chisel nib and a pointy nib. And so I'm using the chisel nib now around the outside. I thought I'll just go for it. I put a piece of paper underneath of it so that I wouldn't go through another page if doing it this much is a bad thing. But it did do a pretty good job of blending all that color but it went through just a little bit and that's just a haze going through. I, I wouldn't really call that a bad bleed. So now let's go on to one more thing I want to show you, which is that there's this Holy Bible for girls. And I got this for my little friend who I want to do Bible journaling with and it's pink and it's pretty and isn't that great. She's a little young for reading a regular Bible, but that's what it is. It's a regular Bible. They don't make kids journaling Bibles the way that we would hope they might. But it's pink and she'll grow into it. She'll still be able to work with me on doing some Bible journaling. And it has a pretty pink ribbon. So I'm going to give it to her anyway. And I got her the pack of pencils. That's what they're for. Because I think she's going to have fun with a brand new pack of pencils doing her Bible journaling. And she's the one I got the little pencil case for. Because I thought she'd have fun coloring that. And then for one extra little fun treat, I got her and one of the pencil sharpeners that holds the shavings because I think she actually will need that. And I got her a special pencil to draw with and it says God's girl on it. And I thought that would be a nice topper for my little gift package to give her. So there we are, start coloring with your pencils and I hope you enjoy that. I'll be doing videos from time to time with a bunch of different mediums, but pencils are one of my favorites to use. So I hope you will Go do some journaling with pencils and maybe you learned something about the products through this video and I will see you later. God bless you. Bye bye.